Welcome back to the journey of Team 27. I'm Scott Hall. We're beginning to wind down here as we have reached what ended up being the final weekend of the 2020 season. It was also the opening weekend in Conference USA League play as eight of the 12 teams began conference action. However, here at Dot Hicks Field, Marshall was off in CUSA play and hosted the Thundering Herd round robin as the Bucknell Bison and the Rutgers Scarlet Knights came to town. The Herd had already faced Bucknell this year back on February 7th and came away with a 9-4 victory. Marshall and Rutgers also had recent history at the end of the 2019 season in the first round of the National Invitational Softball Championship. The Herd eliminated the Scarlet Knights 4-0 and ended their season. The temperatures were cool, but the sun was out and the crowd came out as well, packing the stands just behind me and sitting all around the outfield. Now Marshall put on a fireworks display just a few days before with five more bombs in a doubleheader sweep of the Akron Zips. A day in which the herd never trailed. Well, this day was going to be a little different. Marshall found itself trailing in both contests and needed to find that inner never say die attitude once again. Saturday's action brought us the first home run at home by a player who grew up just about 30 miles from here, as well as more late inning big blasts and an incredible play in the infield to help save a game that you just have to see. Marshall gave the hometown crowd suspense and then plenty to cheer for along the journey of Team 27. As Marshall and Bucknell took the field on Saturday, the Bison were coming off a 10-5 loss to Rutgers and looked to take charge early, loading the bases and then clearing them in the first. Ashley Blesson responded with her third strikeout and the herd trailing 3-0. Marshall put up two in the bottom of the first, beginning with back-to-back -back doubles. Huerta swings on that, drives it over to left, over the outstretched arm of the left fielder, Lord Berter. That'll be enough to drive Harrell home. And Huerta is in with a double. Later in the inning, with the bases loaded after walks to Sage Pye and Katie Adams. A wild pitch allowed Ware to the score, cutting the deficit to one. In the bottom of the third, still trailing three to two, and after a one out walk to Pye, the Marshall crowd sprang to life as Adams went deep. Adams, that one carries to left and it's gone! Katie Adams! A two-run jack. Adams goes yard for the second time this year. It was Adams' first career home run at home, and Marshall took the lead 4-3. to three. Meanwhile, on defense, learning from her rough start, Lesson settled in and dominated the rest of the way. Five Bison batters reach base in the top of the first. Only six reached through the remainder of the game as Blessing mowed down a career-high seven batters. And the defense made play after play. Levain gets a piece of that. Back at the wall and the grab is made by Rachel Rousseau. A leaping grab near the warning track. Throw to second is in time and Huerta tags up on the bag. Laney Jones entered in the seventh to close the game. After the leadoff batter reached, Jones and the Herd D retired the next three in just 12 pitches. Jones earned her third save of the season as Team 27 won its eighth straight contest. After a quick break, Marshall came right back out on the field against Rutgers in what became a great back and forth battle. The herd looked to be in control from the outset with great defensive work and just one Scarlet Knight reaching base through the first three innings. The offense 
began to flow in the bottom of the third. Christopher swings and drives that to right. It's off the wall and it drops at the warning track. Christopher slides in and she's in with a leadoff double. With Chloe Lee in to run at second, Armani Brown kept things rolling. Brown knocks that into shallow left and that's enough to score Chloe Lee. Armani Brown, an RBI single and Marshall on the board first. Two batters later with two away. Sierra Huerta earned her first three bagger in a herd uniform. Huerta gets a piece, drives that out to center, it's off the wall. Fawcett couldn't get to it. Harrell will score from first. A two out triple for Sierra Huerta. And the hot hitting continues for the herd. Maya Stevenson drove in the third run of the inning, out hustling an infield single. Rutgers scored two in the top of the fourth, before Marshall added another run in the bottom of the inning. Some great base running and slide from Rachel Rousseau on a slow roller from Brown put the herd up too. However, in the top of the fifth, Rutgers struck quickly and often, scoring four runs and taking a two-run advantage. Kaylee Williamson then entered the circle and calmed things down, recording back-to-back -back outs to end the inning. The Scarlet Knights scored one more in the sixth, but Rousseau ran one down by the left field line to end the inning. Marshall trailed by three. In the bottom of the sixth with one out, Chelman reached on a walk. Brown then moved Chelman into scoring position as the big bats were coming to the plate with two away. Gets a piece of that, drives that into the gap. Harrell is aboard. Chelman will come home, and Marshall has cut the lead down to two. Huerta swings. That one drops in fair territory out in right. Ali Harrell chucks around to third. A two-out rally for the Thundering Herd. One on the way for Price. Stevenson drives that to left, and it's gone! A three-run shot for Maya Stevenson gives Marshall back the lead. Stevenson goes yard for the tenth time this year. Stevenson became the quickest player in herd history to record 10 home runs in a season, just the 22nd game, besting the old mark of 23 games by All-American Rachel Folden in 2006. Hi, gets a piece of that. That one's gonna go yard. Goodbye, Sage Pie, for the sixth time this year. Rutgers still had one more opportunity in the top of the seventh. Laney Jones re-entered the circle for Marshall, and the defense went to work. Including an unbelievable play from Sierra Huerta and Allie Harrell. Workman an 0 for 3 day has struck out looking at back-to-back at bats. Nice layout from Huerta from her knees, and she got it! What a throw from short! Sierra Huerta laying it all on the line. The Scarlet Knights made things interesting with a two-out solo home run. And on the eighth pitch of the next batter, Rousseau ended the game. Payoff pitch on the way. And she drills that to left, but it's in the glove of Rousseau. And that is your ball game. A come-from-behind victory for Marshall. Jones tallied her fourth save tying the Marshall single season record set by Abigail Harder in 2004. Marshall powered its way to its ninth straight win, thanks to a four run bottom of the sixth, and then great defense in the seventh. The herd electrified the home crowd once again on the journey of Team 27.